hello friends my name is Rajiv and in this video we will see the drives which we can use in our computer to improve our performance in VFX work okay so let's see what type of drives are available in market right now and uh, and which is better for you <coughs> so basically we'll we'll see that how to speed up VFX work with the uh, SSD drive Okay, SSD stand for uh, solid slate drive. So, before we go for the best uh, solid uh, SSD drive or any drive, we can just go back and just see what types of drives are available. So, have you remember this? These uh, like thick uh, cables. But these drives are basically called PATA drive and PATA stand for parallel advanced technology attachment this was relatively very slow drive so in that the uh, maximum speed rate of transfer is like around 15 to 20 mbps then the new hard disk will come that is SATA that most of you know and uh, around 80% of you <coughs> are having this hard disk in your system but this hard disk is like uh, come in two variant like one is 5400 round per minute and another one is 7200 round per minute <coughs> so basically but uh, what happened in inside this hard disk is there is a disk which is spinning around in the disk and uh, and write your data and read your data from that disk so how uh, the faster the the disk will rotate inside this drive the faster your data will be read out from that drive so with that SATA produced very good uh, speed out of that then the trend change and SAS drive will come and the SAS drive comes with like 15,000 round per minute so if you compare that with the with the previous uh, SATA it's a uh, maximum 7200 round per minute spinning and and SAS is having 15,000 round per minute and it's giving us the data rate data transfer rate up to 60 to 80 mbps the look is almost same for the SAS drive uh, there is no difference but inside the tech they change the technology a bit more so you can see that this is a small computer system interface okay but now these days the advanced technology is come and here the thing which we are talking about right now in this video this is SSD a solid slate drive so there is no spinning uh, thing a spinning magnetic disk inside this so if you go through this line like SSD have no moving components so this is the traditional drive where you can see the disk this disk is actually rotating and uh, from that you can uh, read and write your data with this <coughs> but uh, this SSD is not having any disk it just having like this kind of flash memories inside that which is connected to the controller and uh, it's just pretty much behave like RAM because in RAM also there is no such kind of thing or even in your pen drive and uh, in your mobile sim uh, uh, mobile card okay mini SD card and SD cards so this technology is like they expand that to make a hard disk and it's very very fast so it's very useful for write heavy workload like if you are working on a heavy fluid simulations um, where what happens in fluid simulation like uh, you are caching data so if you cache any data which is gps of files then again you you need to read cache back in the software so that writing and reading process will be definitely improved by this solid slate drive and if you if you're rendering any HD render so HD render is also improved with that like because the the processing is not related to this because the thing is with this drive you can you can improve the the write speed so your, your software can write your data to the drive very fast so that's why it's very useful when it comes to your compositing work like you are you're reading all the passes from your disk so all the passes in your like in, in any in, in your drive 
and when you are reading in Nuke or After Effects, it the reading speed will be very fast in that. Okay, and same is come so like if you are doing like big 4K editing work, so that will improve that work also. It's incredibly fast than the traditional SATA drives, <coughs> and uh, it's uh <coughs> just sorry. High. Um, it's very very high um, definition content if you if you want to create some high definition content it's very good for that right so I would highly recommend this drive for you right now so what there are thousand uh, many types of drives many vendors who created that uh, a solid slate drive that is first is OCZ Kingston Intel uh, SanDisk Samsung the all brands are available but uh, I will I will talk to you about two drives which I am personally using right now so this is Intel 730 uh, this actually I'm using in my laptop and this is this drive is very good the performance is very good I'll, I'll show you the features of this drive so this is the Intel SSD uh, which I'm using in my elite book okay so let's show you the features so this intel uh, ssd drive is having their intel controller inbuilt like they have their own controller inside this and the read speed is 550 mbps and the write speed is 270 mbps it's incredibly fast and this is consistent speed there is no up and down in this like and if you have the two drive rate zero configuration set up in your system you can do the right read thing up to 1 gbps that is 1020 mbps it's very fast intel is having their data center strong reliability rep reputation so it's very reliable you can you can use it very reliably and uh, the data writes is uh, the capacity to write the data is 50 GB per day and up to five year warranty so so it's a reliable and consistent drive and it's idle for workstation so if you're using any workstation it's very good for that I would recommend that because I'm using this drive in my system and I'm not facing any issue with this drive but you can definitely try and search out read on internet and find out best drive for you and uh, it's up to you it's it's one of the most expensive drive also so it's not not compared to all other drive intel 730 series is the very expensive most expensive drive so <coughs> make sure it should be fit on your budget also if the next thing uh, which i can show you is uh, is samsung ssd 440 pro this drive is also very good drive i can show you i have also using this drive also in my system I, so i have two drive one is samsung ssd and one is intel performance wise to be honest both are same i don't feel any difference in this and uh, this drive is cheaper than intel so on, and this is, and, and the speed is also slightly faster but that that 730 is uh, intel technology and uh, very reliable and uh, then the warranty is five year even this is also five year warranty so i i just uh, did uh, research on the internet and i found both of these drives are relatively very good for for uh, for our production or any t uh, read and write uh, data thing so I just try both of them so to be honest you can go for samsung ssd drive also it's very good and it's literally up to you like you can you can go for ocz and kingston kingston hyperx 3 is uh, is is also the same category drive but that is far, far cheaper than these drive and i just um, don't use this drive so just I'll, I'll go for samsung and this so it's up to your choice you, whatever drive you want you can use it apart from that this is the one of the best drive but that cannot fit in your laptop but this is for workstation this is pci express drive so you, you remember where you put your graphic card in your system 
So where you fit your graphic card is a PCI Express drive and same uh, space can be utilized by this drive. So as you can see this drive is like something like that and there are so many flash controller drives are there. So with that this is the one of the maximum read read speed you can see there that 712 mbps speed so this is the future and also this is w one of the most expensive drive so this is if you are doing any FX simulations any types of heavy work where required read and write data this is awesome drive okay so this is it for this uh, video I hope you understand the concept of SSD and uh, SSD is how important SSD in, uh, in visual effects production. So all your um, work station or whatever you are working on if you have using these traditional drives and you update your drive with SATA uh, this SSD drive then you will definitely your system will be boot much very fast and your application will start very quickly and these drives are not uh, very expensive compared to the SATA drive so what you can do you can you can uh, buy a 240 GB drive like as you can see this drive is 240 GB so you can you can uh, put this drive in your system and make this drive for your OS so your operating system will boot from this drive so that will help you to boot your system fast and start launch your application very quickly and your your application performance will also improve with these drives so this is very important part which you uh, you miss in your system you you must have ssd drive so go and search more for ssd drive and find out which drive fit in your budget and put this drive in your in your laptop and in your in your workstation and you will definitely feel uh, good performance with these drive all right so thank you very much this is it for this video and if you like this please subscribe to this channel thank you very much bye